Hi there, welcome to Floating in Dreams. This is going to be my overview of my favorite luxury and high-end lipsticks. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. This video is another installment of my series that I'm doing this week with some of my favorite high-end uh, price point products, you could say. Today we're focusing on lipstick. I have already done a couple of videos with other categories in my makeup collection, and I don't think this video is going to hold any surprises for anyone. So let me just get to it. Before we get into the video, I would love to tell you a little bit more about my channel and what I like doing on here. My name is Maika. I live in the Netherlands. I have fair skin with a cool neutral undertone, and this greatly influences how I feel about makeup. I have been reviewing makeup for more than a decade. I love trying out eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice, and getting the use out of my makeup. So if that's something you're interested in, then I hope you'd like to consider subscribing. So before we get to the actual 10 lipsticks, which as I said already in my intro, if you've watched my content and you're familiar with my preferences, I don't think any of these are gonna come out of nowhere. For those people who may be unfamiliar with my content, I will be leaving links in the description box down below. So if you wanna have a look at swatches or reviews I've done with these, I, I pretty much have other content up where I put everything on my face as well. I am actually wearing one of these today, but for the other ones, I can't show you everything in one video. So I will be referring you to some other uh, product reviews I have done in the past, be it video, be it blog post style. So you can find that in the description box. What you will also be finding in the description box down below are affiliate links. So if you choose to shop through them, I could make a small commission and that way we uh, you can help out the channel if you want to. So I would greatly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to A, watch this and B, click any of those links. That would be great. Um, so let me just get to these uh, 10 lipsticks that I have selected. I have five by a, a selection of brands and five by the brand that's also on my lips today. So let's go through the miscellaneous ones first. The main miscellaneous ones I definitely feel are sort of ranging in price point as well. I think these two are on the lower end of the spectrum, whereas these are at the higher end of the spectrum and in terms of price point, I mean. So we have the Glossier Ultra Lip. This is one that I've been wearing so much in recent months. It's in the shade Pony. I picked it up very randomly to get free shipping with my uh, foundation purchase when I bought that, the stretch foundation. Here's what Pony looks like. It's a really pretty like brown mauve tone. It's such a good neutral on me. It has that my lips but better kind of vibe for sure. And I did show this to you when I was showing you some of my sheer sort of lip gloss kind of formula because this isn't really 100% a lipstick. I feel it's like a lipstick lip gloss hybrid. So the formula feels like a lip gloss, but it comes in a stick form. I'm not sure if I'm making sense, but this is a really good product. And then the other one that is slightly less expensive, I feel, than the other ones. I'm not sure if they still do this because MAC has changed so many of their lipsticks in the past year. And I bought this because mine had expired. So this looks very, very new but this is Twig, and Twig is one of the best neutral uh, lipsticks in, in the entire world. I love this shade on me, and it's just really, really good for just every day on the go. This is from their satin range, and I'm not sure if they still do it, but at yeah, Max Twig, it's just such a good, good one. I did a video with like some of my favorite cooler tone neutral lipsticks back in April, and this one made an appearance there. Uh, as well as some of the other things that I have in here. What was also in that video I just referenced is this lipstick from Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is one of the coolest toned lipsticks in my entire makeup collection, and it is from a luxury brand. Uh, this is in the shade Jump. It's the Posh Lipstick, and this is such a good mauve tone. It, it's got that pinkiness. It's got a bit of blue purple running through it. It's super pretty on and it's such a good neutral as well. This is a very skinny style lipstick because the formula is incredibly creamy. This has a little bit of shine to it as well. It's a really beautiful lipstick formula. I have it in three shades, but this is by far my favorite. 
Very original favorite then. This is Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Matte Revolution in the shade Very Victoria, which again, I think is such a good one, but all the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are quite warm toned. So if you love true, true, uh, cool tones. This may be not a gr great lipstick for you, but I believe this was named after Victoria Beckham, if I'm not mistaken. And this is one of the best neutrals in the entire Charlotte Tilbury range for my skin tone. I used to own Pillow Talk, but I just ended up wearing this a lot more because it's much better for me as a neutral. And finally, a more colorful option then from Gucci. Let's appreciate this packaging for a second because this is so pretty. Um, it, it looks very ornate. These are expensive lipsticks, but they're really, really good if you can get over the floral perfume that's in here. But I've had mine for a while and I definitely feel that it disappears if you own these for a while. This is the shade Love Before Breakfast. It's one of their satin shades. And what Gucci does, which I think is brilliant, is that they do the same shade in different formulas, which I think is really nice. Um, so Love Before Breakfast is a really nice, bright, popping fuchsia that has a bit of warmth to it, but that's why it works for me really, really well in the winter season. I know not a lot of people go for bright shades in the winter time, but I love wearing this when I'm deadly pale. And the satin formula from Gucci is also slightly more like dewy, creamy. It's got a bit of shine. It's not too flat. It's super flattering on, but still very pigmented as well. And if you guessed right that the other five shades of lipstick in this um, in this overview were going to be by Lisa Eldridge, you guessed right, because these are, of course, some of my favorites. Every single time I film a shot my stash, which I do once a month, these are in there because I keep reaching for these and I'm wearing uh, Kitten Mischief on my lips today. So this is a slightly more neutrally peach, I feel, which I didn't think I was gonna like when she showed it when this launched, but it, en it ended up being my favorite Luxuriously Lucent. This is her more creamy formula as well, and this is the one I reach for pretty much the most, so I love this. I just last Sunday filmed a video where I swatched out all of the Lisa Eldridge bullet lipsticks because I own the entire collection, and they're all going onto my lips. So if you wanna watch that to see what this looks like on with a slightly different makeup look, then you can. Um, the other favorite neutral shade in this entire range for me is I think still Velvet Muse. I think I, think I go back and forth between Velvet Muse and Velvet Sorcery, but because I've owned Muse for longer, I mean, look at that nup. That's all I have left. Um, I think that's why I tend to prefer this one. So Velvet Muse from Lisa Eldridge. This is one of the true velvets. So this is a matte formula, which I love. It's still very rich and creamy. It stays onto the lips really well. And I just think that these lipsticks are unlike anything else that's on the market today. My other favorite that has been a long-standing favorite is Velvet Ribbon. This is another true velvet and it's a true pillar box red. I had to repurchase mine because I broke it. Uh, the old one I had, I was swatching and I had twisted it up too far. And then these can be very prone to breakage. So if you're someone who likes to twist up their entire lipstick in order to apply it, don't do it with this one because these are very prone to breakage and fragile if you twist them up too far. I have therefore bought a new one because I cannot be without my favorite red lipstick. So therefore I bought this again. I know, terrible. Um, and then two of my other favorites are from the Insanely Saturated range. And these are some of the brightest, poppiest, most intense shades that I have ever found. This is Skyscraper Rose. And this is quite similar actually to what Love Before Breakfast has to offer. I just feel this is because it's matte, it looks almost more vibrant. Um, so the Insanely Saturated are a really incredible, punchy, very pigmented formula, and I love this shade on myself, especially again in the fall-winter season. And then finally, the final favorite lipstick from a high-end brand that I have to show you is the Insanely Saturated in the shade New Wave. And New Wave is like a purpley pink. It's really, really pretty on. It definitely has more pink once it's on the lips, I feel. It looks a lot more intimidating in the bullet. And I do have a dupe for this because there is a Catrice Scandalous Matte 
in the shade 080 casually overdressed or underdressed. 080 from the Scandal is Met from Catrice, which is a dupe for this. So um, I have definitely found some dupes for Lisa Eldridge lipsticks now, but these are still my favorites. So was there any surprise here that these would be selected here? I don't think so. So remember, there are going to be loads of links in the description box down below where I have links to all of these so you can see them going on onto my lips, going on onto my arms. I also swatched out my entire lipstick collection for you last February. So if you want to see them all being swatched out and compared, then that's another video that you can watch if you want to. So make sure to link that as well. And thank you so very much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks so very much for being here. Thumbs it up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more by me. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.